to a ringer washing machine, uh, sans the rubber gasket, mounted to a hollow body guitar like thing. Uh, Amplified and sent through a couple of digital delays. So, struck, otherwise manipulated. <laughs> Actually, can people hear me over the lid? Yes. Seventy-five percent of Okay, thanks. <laughs> Um, about five or six years ago, I had the opportunity to, to listen to a Japanese woman who was bombed in Nagasaki, and uh, she explained what it was like to be in a house eating breakfast when the bomb hit. This bomb comes out of that. It's called It Started in Japan. And it began without a sound while she was eating breakfast. All noise was swallowed up. Her own house broke around her. Every house lay down and died. No words were spoken. No children cried. That too blue sky transposing into things unheard, bigger than all the houses, deeper than rest. Possibly there is a sound to convey longing it is the sound of fire horns falling out in the night. How many mornings will contain this perfect silence? I eat all my breakfasts without words. Look up before raising the spoon. surrender. Fish will swim all the summer. This one's about playing God. I'll try, try again. First I tried small things. Bacteria, algae, and then I tried putting them together and made club moss and lichens and later ferns. Then I tried making everything bigger, giant ferns, lichens hundreds of feet high, great throbbing bacteria. Most of these were failures, but I did discover trees, and after that, insects. I admit, I got carried away with the insects. I loved the veins in their wings, their delicate legs, how they changed from crawling to flying. I made insects which last, which lasted only a day, and others which went on for years. I hate to think how much I threw away. Beetles were a success, and cockroaches. And then I thought of fishes, but some of them found their way out of the water, and all of a sudden I couldn't control it anymore. There were too many different kinds, all of them crawling in and out, reproducing so fast I don't know why the whole place didn't fill up with wings, gills, scales, eggs, all people broken in a monstrous pile. And they started to eat each other, which was not my idea. <laughs> and the insects and the reptiles got together, so there were birds everywhere. I had to walk away. And now there are mammals, tiny little ones, no bigger than this. Someone's got to. 
You've no right to be hungry or tired or old. Clear this away. I don't like depressed people and I don't like dirty hands. I want blue skies and lots of them. Love me, love me, love me. censorship and I think with the Reagan era especially uh, right, the FCC the Federal Communications Commission has been one of the uh, tools to quiet people and we certainly have felt that at the community radio station that we work at in Worcester WCUW um, and it's unfortunate I think it has to be fought on all fronts um, this is what the FCC will allow <laughs> No fucking attention, no people with memory, no pain, no cocksuckers, no cocksuckers, no wind up watches, no dicks, no nicknames, no bosses, no coffee pots, no piggy banks, no lucky penny. No desert island, no 15 minute stardom, no ban the bomb, no pay raises, no heat wave, no high rise, no nice days, no short wave. No fighting, no farting, no pissing, no snorting, no screaming, no quiet. No birthdays, no riots, no overthrow, no prisons, no parties. No nothing to eat, nothing to digest, no shit, no legs, no toes, no knees, no nose, no cunt, no canto, no quantum mechanics, no Emmanuel Kant. No pubic, no public, no commercial TV. No hair, no asshole, no navel, no novel, no gavel, no rubble, no flush. No singing, no sign off, no late night, no falling in love, no temper, no tantrum, no bathroom, no tits. No communist, no pacifist, no Wall Street, no Main Street, no hometown, no mugging, no murder, no motherfucker, no cows. No school, no smoking, no beaches, no subway, no parking space, no outer space, no spare ribs, no rainforest, no continent, no snowstorms, no bird songs, no nothing. Yeah. 